Women of Reddit, what is your worst nice guy experience? I'm a barista. I had a regular ask me out a while back. He's kind of a creepy guy who has a reputation for being a starer and likes to try to make small talk with the women there even when they're obviously busy doing their ducking jobs. I try to avoid talking to him as much as I can but he seems mostly harmless. When I rejected him, he went on this tirade about how all women are shallow and I only turned him down because he's fat. Note that I'm engaged and wear a ring. So he was barking up the wrong tree in the first place. I basically told him that he was the shallow one because he only asked me out because he thinks I'm pretty. Given that I'm not even nice to him. Shut him up. I eat her. This blew up unexpectedly I want to make it clear that by starer I mean that he stares at everyone's tits in a very obvious and inappropriate way. Also small talk is usually appreciated. But if I'm rushing around trying to get my work done I don't want to hear about the weather for the millionth time. Especially since when other customers have to wait. They get angry at me. Not you. I. He picked me up and took me to the beach to get me out of my head and not be alone with myself after my friend committed suicide. But I turned away to stare out at the ocean and he came up behind me and started grinding on me. I told him to stop and wanted to go home as this was just making my mood worse now. Get to my house he gets out for a hug goodbye and immediately pulls my face up to his and tries to full or make out with me. Thanks for ruining a kind gesture with the assumption of getting laid when I am grieving my friend's death. I met this guy online who offered to help me learn his native language. Every day I would send him journal entries and he would correct them for me. I offered to help him as well but he said just chatting with me in English helped enough. A few weeks into this he says he is going to visit the city that I live in and says we should meet. I tell him I'd rather we didn't because I have a boyfriend, which I had already mentioned many times, and I think he might be looking for a date. He insists that he only wants to meet his friends. But I tell him I am busy. Then suddenly he calls me saying he has arrived and has brought some American chips for me. I had mentioned before that I really missed American chips. I agree to meet him for coffee, to find that he has bought me tons of gifts, including wine and wine glasses. I politely reject the gifts but he insists that I must take them because his arms are sore from carrying them. I quickly have coffee with him during which he tells me he must marry a white girl because the girls in his country are all shallow. And he wants his children to be powerful and being half white would make them more powerful. I'm a white girl. I make an excuse to leave because I am uncomfortable. I text him to tell him that I don't think we should be friends anymore because I think he is looking for more and it makes me uncomfortable. He immediately threatens to hurt my family members, of whom he has the names of on Facebook. He also reminds me that he knows where I go to school. Terrified, I block him on all platforms. Four years later and he still makes attempts to contact me via his mom and brother's cell numbers. Edit. For those who are asking, this happened in Korea and the guy was Korean. I forgot my wallet while standing in line at the cafe. I ordered and realized my wallet missing so I said I'll just zip out to my car and pay when I got back. I was parked right outside. This guy behind me says he'll pay for my drink and I tried insisting I would pay but he pulled out cash and paid before I could really do anything. I said thank you and chatted while waiting for my drink. I was on my way somewhere so as I'm leaving he leaves too and asks if he can have my number. I was honest and said I was on my way to see my boyfriend. This guy just ducking snaps, grabs my coffee, throws it across the street and tells me I'm leading him on and I'm a ducking itch and then he storms off. I asked went to my car and got my wallet and bought my own coffee. The owner saw the whole thing and told me he's now banned from the cafe. Apparently he'd done similar it with other women and this was the last straw. Edit. So. This happened about 15 years ago. I don't remember specifics about this interaction. Just the basics and feeling very surprised and then laughing because he was so ridiculous. I've had multiple run-ins with nice guys or oh, but one that really stands out to me happened when I was in my early teens. I started talking to him because his seat was across from mine's in class. And he was easy to talk to. After about a week, he sent me multiple long Facebook poems about how I'm the most beautiful Asian girl he's ever met. And how meeting me has changed his life. Not through a PM, but posted on my wall. At the time, I knew that it was wrong on multiple levels but didn't really know why. So I kind of ignored how creepy it was altogether. 
I shot him a PM and told him in the best way I could that I didn't feel that way about him. But I thought the poems were lovely and appreciated it. He flipped out on me, accusing me of using him and leading him on which actually guilted me into going on a date with him because I really did feel awful. The date was awkward. I couldn't get into it. Or him. We barely talked and he would barely even look me in the eye. I told him the same night I didn't think we could be more than friends and... The next day he spread rumors about how I sucked his D on the date. When I still wouldn't date him after those rumors had spread. He basically went on a Facebook rampage about how women are sluts that pass on nice guys like him constantly. Yeah. Fun times. Someone I knew and trusted molested me when I was 17. I thought I was confiding in a long term friend. But he told me. I don't understand how you got to that point with him but you and I hang out all the time and haven't gotten close. Story time. Nice guy had a huge crush on our mutual friend but the feelings weren't returned. They never dated. This is important to the story. He was still interested and still is. I managed to get dragged into this as both sides were talking to me about the situation. Recently, our friend got a very small tattoo on her arm and nice guy freaks out. What is that thing on your arm? Is it temporary? Are you going to keep it? I'm sorry I can't deal with this now. Friend is confused and upset. They end up talking again and he says either remove it or I won't be your friend anymore. I can't be friends with anyone who has body art. I'll even give you money towards it. Just consider what I said. Friend then talks to me about it. I try to get nice guy to change his mind but he says he won't budge. She makes peace with her decision that they'll won't be friends anymore. Which he then turns around and is shocked she chose to keep the tattoo and kept saying this is the only thing I'll ask you to do then realize she didn't want to be friends with him anymore. He then changed his mind and decided he still wanted to be friends cause blackmailing her to remove the tattoo didn't work. He honestly believed that she'd remove the tattoo for him. He now blames me for this mess and demanded I fix it. Naturally, I ghosted and haven't bothered with him since. TL. DR. Nice guy has a huge crush on a girl. Girl doesn't feel the same. Girl gets tattoo. He demands she removes it or he'll stop being her friend. She keeps the tattoo. I got dragged into it and now me and the girl no longer talk to him and he blames me for the whole situation. Probably a guy I was talking to online for a bit. We met in person and watched some movies. It was okay. Eventually he asks about my history. And I hadn't yet had 6 so I said that I wasn't ready for it yet. Later on he tells me that if we start dating, after one date, he'll deserve and expect 6 from me. I told him duck right off. And happily say I'm now married to an actual nice guy. Who'd never act like that much of an entitled creepy ass. First guy I ever dated, we were 15. I told him I was still figuring things out and wanted to take things slow. He showed up with a dozen roses on our second date. I told him it was too much. And I was uncomfortable. But he refused to take them back. We hung out a few times. But I just wasn't that into him. I said didn't want to keep dating. We should just be friends. He said okay but then gave me a goodbye book that he'd hidden jewelry inside. And he refused to take that back. 2. If he texted. I kept things friendly and jokey. Never saying anything romantic. I tried to avoid him and even sent him a crappy poem as only teen me could write to tell him to forget about me because I liked someone else, which was true. Sometime later. It's prom season. He asks another girl, then finds out I haven't been asked yet. So he offers to dump her for me. I say it won't be fair to her and refuse. I also really don't want to go with him. But I'm too scared to say this to his face. He's super pissed at prom because I went with a guy he hated, and that guy turned out later to be a jerk. But oh well. Still wouldn't have driven me into my first date's arms. Years later, when we are both in college, I go home for a reunion. A girl asks me, hey, Cactoy Jane, first date used to talk to me about you. I always wondered, why were you leading him on? The worst nice guys are the ones who don't give up. It's one thing to turn someone down and have them back off, but I've had some people who refuse to give up. I think a lot assume that they will eventually win you over like some kind of romcom but it's usually just creepy. A guy who lived in my dorm my freshman year of college professed that he loved me one day because it was killing him seeing me get close with another one of our friends. 
I let him down but he continued to pursue me for the next 6 months. He wrote me poems and would play me songs that reminded him of me, and would tell me I'm beautiful and perfect in Italian, a language we share, when other people were present. He even told me that he didn't know if he could live without me and mind of threatened to harm himself if we didn't date. Even when I started dating someone else this behavior continued until he decided there was another girl he was in love with. It gets kind of scary when people confuse obsession for love. I told a guy that I'd suffered from anorexia years ago and obsession over calories used to take over my life. He said it wasn't unhealthy. It was actually really good discipline and I'd be better off taking it up again. I had a class with a guy. We worked on a project together in my first year of uni. And he confided in me about some of his issues and I felt really bad for him. He sat beside me in class and started messaging me every day. And it was honestly exhausting. I told him I had issues of my own so I wasn't the best person to talk to. And he should seek out a counselor, etc. Over the next few years he started coming up to me more in person in common areas of the campus. I'd politely tell him I had stuff to do and I'd rather work alone. So he'd sit beside me silently until I'd leave. I found him following me around campus on multiple occasions too. I started to realize I should probably limit messaging him back even if it was to tell him leave me alone so I wasn't giving him something to hold on to. So, I started outright ignoring his daily hellos as much as it made me feel bad. About a year later in the year 4 class we took together he kept turning around and staring at me I swear every 30 seconds. He did it so much that other people in the class started asking me about it. Then one day we were supposed to get up and pitch an idea for a video. He gets up there, pitches his idea then pulls up an image of my face and says I want Ratkna to play the lead part as he clicks through a couple more slides of pictures of me stolen off Facebook. I was mortified. I'm a very quiet and shy student so I had no idea what to do. I just slunk down in my seat and prayed no one looked at me. After that a good guy friend of mine talked to the guy and told him how uncomfortable he was making me. He seemed to get the message after that probably because it was another guy saying it. He never got outright aggressive but his behavior was definitely upsetting to me. I even started to get scared he was following me home so I never listened to music on the bus or on my walk. I did on multiple instances tell him that I didn't want to talk. He was making me uncomfortable. I had a boyfriend etc. But I should have just been mean to send a clear message. I definitely could have handled it better. But I didn't want to be rude to him because he was clearly troubled. Edit. Clarity. This guy on Tinder asked for nudes. I said no and asked him if this tactic he used to try to get me to send him had ever worked and he sent me like an essay on how I was the worst person on the planet and something about how I thought I was better than him. Let's just say I deleted Tinder that night. Edit. Typo. I rejected this one guy because he really creeped me out and he proceeded to stalk me until I managed to get a restraining order. He also would send really creepy gifts to my house and one of the gifts was a heart shaped box with a dead squirrel inside. I was terrified of him. When I get complimented, and I say thanks, and they continue the compliments but they gradually get creepier. Finally, when I tell them I'm uncomfortable with those comments because I have a BF. But in reality it's because they're freaking the hell out of me. They get all defensive saying that they just like giving a compliment where a compliment is due and I'm ungrateful. Self-proclaimed nice guys are almost always awful because they need to enforce their niceness so much. They usually get really dependent on you and try to make you feel guilty constantly for wanting to get away from them for being overbearing. This one dude who was like 28, I was 18, would unload all of his opinions on me for no reason. Get way too, physically, close to me, find reasons to touch me, tell me all of his ideas for books and told me I was gonna be a character in one, would stare at me from across the room constantly, he just generally made me really uncomfortable, then he forced a hug on me before he got out of the car, it was all gross, I broke up with my ex because he had pictures of other girls on his phone and he started stalking me and calling me non-stop and finding new ways to contact me until he was blocked everywhere. Months pass and I unblock him from Instagram and he messages me a couple months after that about how we broke up cause he was just too nice. Weird. Edit. Spaced the stories so they were less confusing. Sorry. 
My kids were all best friends w a neighbor's kids who were the exact same ages. Their dad and I hung out since we were both stay at home parents. One day he asks me if I want to see a photo he took. I'm all sure. Thinking it was a funny kid shot or whatever. It's a ducking D pic. Is ducking D. This is long but I think it's good to record my thoughts in this issue for anyone that might be in this situation. When I was 17 years old, feeling like a grown lady, there was this 30 plus year old man I met while shopping one day. We exchanged email addresses, I didn't have my own cell phone at the time. Being foolish, I felt mature at having an older man's attention and didn't tell anyone about it. After all, in my teenage head, it was totally innocent. He complimented me, that is, called me mature, responsible, etc, and never said anything inappropriate, at first anyway, however, when I turned 18, just a couple months after that initial encounter, that changed, he started emailing me suggestive and, when I didn't stop him, eventually explicit messages, I didn't stop him at the suggestive language because I thought that I was reading too much into it and that his comments were unintentional innuendo, like when you accidentally set yourself up for a that's what she said moment. I thought I was the pervert and that adults would never be so crass. After the explicit messages started, I would ask him to stop and he would go back to the normal friendly chatter of hobbies, movies, etc. However, after a few months, he would get lewd again. This continued for several months and I stated avoiding my email just because he had made me uncomfortable but I felt guilty when I thought of blocking him. I was scared to tell him stop or I'll delete you because maybe that was immature or maybe it was my fault it was happening. I thought maybe I unintentionally led him on and, if that was the case, I owed him an explanation and an apology. But then I would remember that I told him to stop and he should have stopped. And around and around we go, torn and somewhat ashamed. This went on until I got an actual boyfriend which is about the same time the 30 yo started getting pervy for the final time. I told pervy man that I had a boyfriend and the pervy comments made me uncomfortable. I told him I liked talking to him as a friend but nothing more and apologized for misleading him. He lost it. He sent a message that said, and I'll never forget this. Go on then and follow you see to greener pastures and went on to call me a whore and other such nonsense. I remember being stunned. I had never had this happen to me in high school or college. It seemed surreal that a grown man I respected at one time would say something so ugly. Moral of the story. Whether you are 17 or 70, if you feel uncomfortable, don't try to rationalize the issue. Block the moron. My self-professed nice guy boyfriend once sighed and bemoaned the fact that nice guys aren't as successful as other guys are dating. Dude. What am I? The consolation prize? I had a guy stalk me at the store I work in. I work alone. Too. Which made the whole thing creepier. He'd come in occasionally and stay there for an hour. Even if someone else would come in. He'd just drift around the store until they left then keep talking to me. I was like. 22 at the time and he was easily in his late 30s. On time. I came into the shop and my co-worker asked if I knew this dude. I was like uh, no, why, because he comes in every day and is asking when you work, dear, got, so, next time he comes in, he asks me out on a date, I say sorry, no, I have a boyfriend, then he goes on a 30 minute rant about how women hate him, how he's recently divorced, lonely, etc, full of guilt tripping as if it was my fault I was in a happy, committed relationship, yikes, he asked for my number after buying me a drink, didn't know him or even noticed him till he walked up with a beer in hand. Said I was in a relationship, I was, and he started ranting and raving about how when a nice guy buys you a drink, you give him the time of day. I got up and started walking away. He threw the bottle of beer at me. My ex was a nice guy outside of the relationship acted really nice, impressed my parents and friends etc. He would force me to have sex and would emotionally blackmail me if I said no. Like tell me that I didn't really love him because I didn't want to duck him and give me the silent treatment. It was my first relationship and I was very naive. After we broke up, I broke it off but he claims he did. He told everyone I was crazy and that I did all this sexual stuff I didn't. He called me a slut and spread rumors. Told people I was loose and had ugly boobs. 
People asked me why I cheated on him but I never did. Everyone believed him because he was so nice while I am an awkward and passive aggressive girl that not many people like because I struggle to hold a conversation. Guy from uni hung around me, never made any move, was an egotistical failure in class and eventually told me that he lost his virginity to his best friend's girlfriend, jerk, then when I began dating my now husband, he told me I was missing out and making a mistake, just no. Not a woman. I am a straight male. When I was in college, my gay male friend developed a crush on me. I was very poor at the time. And he had a decent job. He would frequently buy beer and weed and stuff. And share with friends. Including me. We did a lot of staying up late drinking and talking about art films and stuff. One night, he made his move. And I rejected him. What followed was the cringiest, angstiest and scariest nice guy breakdown the world may have ever seen about how I date girls that don't care about me but I won't be with him, and how I'll lead him on and spend his money, etc. He apologized the next day, but honestly our friendship did not recover. On a positive note, I think this interaction helped me to never become the nice guy later in life. Have had casual friends be very nice and polite up until they asked me out and I said no. Then I became a slut, was joking with a nice guy friend about dating them and thought they were joking too. He kissed me and I didn't stop at the moment. After that I politely let him know that I wasn't interested in him. Later found out he told everyone we actually dated. I broke his heart and I'm an info. He pretended to be understanding about my social anxiety and told me we could take it slow. And then immediately started asking when we could have six. Even though I had already told him it wouldn't happen anytime soon. It's not really a nice guy experience. But still. Are just neck but things. Emorp. Had a male friend I worked with. Started a new job and he already worked there. He never stopped talking. Non-stop. Trying to get a word in edgewise was impossible. It wasn't conversation so much as being talked at. This went on for years. He got fired. I still worked there. Since it was a retail store, he would come in when he knew my shift started every day. He followed me around for hours while I tried to work. Talking. I told my managers but they just said he's a customer. So, this goes on for little years. Mind you, I was actually engaged this whole time. He knew this. I dumped my fiancé due to reasons. If you are genuinely curious, read profile. He leapt at the chance. He tried asking me out every day he came in. I eventually got another boyfriend. Not this dude. He didn't give up. This crazy ass was relentless. Finally he actually got me written up. My boss said I was talking too much on the clock. Colon. So I got to tell the dude to step off. TL. DR dude bothers me every day for years because my bosses let him. Until I was written up for it. Did. Or to correct mistakes. I've honestly never had this experience with a dude. For some reason they bring the jerk out immediately with me. He pretended to comfort me then slowly turned creepy. In high school I had this friend. We all knew he was kinda creepy but he treated us with respect and we never felt uncomfortable around him. When we graduated he started actively pursuing almost every female in our friend group. Long strings of text. Showing up at our houses unexpectedly to hang out. Insisted on being the sober guy so he could take care of us when we went to parties. He was our really good friend for most of high school and we loved him dearly but now because of his behavior we really don't want to be around him. Found out he's been sleeping with one of my brother's friends. There's an age difference but it's still legal. Belly. She's been obsessed with him for years. I asked him about it and he said she wasn't girlfriend material and that he'd end things right there and then if I agreed to go out with him. Haven't spoken to him since but he still sends me messages and asks me over for drinks every few days. Brother's friend sends me threats.